Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here, none other. I am coming to y'all with my first video. The second video will tie into um, this video, but yes, I'm giving you a, a movie review slash Anna analyzing the movie as well. So without further ado, I will be talking about Blade, the movie that originally starred Wesley Snipes. As some of y'all might have heard, um, the MCU, um, some, I, the MCU wants to actually um, make Blade part of the series and they are planning on recasting and everything. But, and, thing, and I wanted to come and talk about the original movie. And I'm going to be talking about the other two original movies as well. The other two sequels to it as well later on in the week. But overall, let's get started. So if y'all do not have, some of y'all have never seen Blade the movie. Um, y'all, some of y'all might have seen Blade the movie or Blade the TV show. But I'm coming to talk about Blade, the original movie that started Wesley Snipes. <sighs> Let me just say, I've been watching this on repeat every day before I can do this um show movie this video so blade is a dump here and if you don't know what a dump here you might have heard that I uh, were dump here once before if you you might have heard it in another movie called Ta -da! Vampire Academy so I will come and do that at a later date but but with this, um, he's a dumb here. He's half human, half vampire. His mother was bitten by a vampire when he was um just before he was born, and thing and thing. He has the same abilities as a as the vampire, but he's a resistant to silver. And the third, he's resistant to the silver, to this um silver, silver and stuff and thing and that's why he he's they all in the movie they prefer to call him day walker because he can walk in sunlight he's a um half human half vampire uh, that's what you call a dumb here and he can walk in the daylight so yes so that is that and stuff and he's like so like a skilled weapon and he has their abilities and everything and stuff he's a skilled weapon he's a martial artist and stuff like that um and he kicks vampire but let me just put it that way he kicks vampire but and so then we also need um whistler in, in here as well who is probably i hope i pronounced this guy's name chris off i think that's his name Christoph. i will put i will try to put everybody's um real names in below for you know who played who and stuff but yeah but that is that now if you didn't know who actually played um blade's mother in the film in this in the original film you would you would you would if you go back and you look very briefly sonata lathan played blade's mother and stuff and she's an important part of this movie as well and thing but when you when you get to the hospital they take uh one of the vampire's um, bodies to the hospital they just think he's just dead and stuff because he was burnt and stuff but that wasn't the case he was still alive and thing and he comes the and karen that's where we are introduced to karen jenkins now karen jenkins is works at the hospital as a humanologist. I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I will believe the word in the below and below. But she's a humanologist and she has she do more work doing something with the blood, with the bloodstream and stuff like that. Let me just put it that way. And thing. So while she's at the hospital, her ex, who's also a doctor, um Dr. Curtis asked her to join him in the autopsy room just to analyze this um, dead, burnt body. So they just think, they just talking, and he's just talking about uh, talking about them, what, the, what happened between them and stuff. Then the vampire re waits and stuff, and stuff. he bites Curtis, and he goes after her, he starts biting on her, and that's when you see Blade. Blade comes in, comes in saying, oh, I'm here to finish you off. He punched him. He starts running. He, they start beating on him. He starts kicking his butt. Let me just put it that way. Start kicking his butt, and then the police come, and then they shoot at um, Blade in the chest. He goes, really? 
I mean, that was the, that's the whole, whole part of I me mean, and stuff. And he, the guy get away and stuff. And he was going to leave. And then Karen go, help me, help me. He, he has the flashback of his mom. And then he goes, he decides to help her. And like, before he could get out, they could get out. One way he has to take her out the window that this guy just jumped through. The vampire just jumped through to get away from him. And so he tosses her to the other side of, of, of what to another building and then he jumps out doing that uh of jumping tossing her and stuff she goes and say my arm is dislocated my arm is dislocated he finds where the arm is dislocated put a popping bag and he kicks this door open and he starts to you know using his gun and everything but y'all let me just say this movie is one of my favorite movies now i'm gonna get ready to analyze this movie as well and so, so, like I said, Blade Mom was, like, bitten while she was pregnant. Well, we end up finding out later in the film who bit his mom. His mom was bitten by Deacon Frost himself. And I was like, all this time, he's looking for the guy who, who's been, who bit his body. He's been under his nose this whole time, but he didn't really realize that. Shoot. And like, let me just say, Deacon Frost have done some crappy stuff in this film. You gotta watch. And then, he has done some crappy stuff. Let me just put it that way. And then, but then, like, it's like, Karen, um, Blade's mom is like, oh, I'm with him now. And stuff. Let's just be a happy family. So now I'm going to talk about a couple of things yeah, that will go into a what if also for this um, movie and stuff. So I want to talk about Blade and Karen because I was kind of disappointed with the with the producers not putting a kissing scene or a making out scene between Blade and Karen because you kind of uh, feel that in certain scenes and stuff and one scene you feel that with is like when they first meet and he has her when she's they give her this um garlic serum and he's holding her down and stuff and the one thing is like when she wakes up and she realizes she don't know where she at and um she sees them sees Chris, um, see Whistler injects Blade and stuff, and thing, and he's like, like, oh no, what did what, she just saw? She just saw like it's like she just saw saw what and stuff, and then she goes, and Whistler said, and Whistler goes and say, oh, you off the bitten path, my doctor, like that. It was, it's it's kind of hilarious in a way, but not that hilarious. So the next thing I have to talk about. Also with that, when it comes to like the sexual attention, it was a moment when she goes and speaks to um, Blade while he was in his room and he has just a jacket on. He has just a jacket on and he said, you don't know me, you this and that and that. And then she's like speaking to him. Those were two as considerate moments that, oh, it's something there between them and stuff. And so she starts um, learning the, um, Blade starts teaching her the ropes and stuff like that. And she keeps checking her, her bite marks, her wounds. And like, what's her just like, oh no, we didn't catch it in time and stuff. I like, dang. But like she said, I'm going to try to find a cure for myself and stuff. And they always, all they was always tell her, oh, it's not a cure. It's not a cure for it and stuff like that and thing and stuff because I think the producers just didn't give us a kiss the scene or a make out scene but I really felt like we actually did get it but in, not in the way that we that y'all fans probably didn't notice it now let me tell you what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is yeah we didn't get no kissing scene or a make out scene between um, Blade and Karen but, 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 but I actually say we did so if you remember in this in the in the movie when Blade is has been drained of of drained of his blood almost to bulimia of, of almost to death and Karen takes her little wound things off of where she's been bit and she's tell Blade to drink her blood and he goes no and then she just go 
do it. And he just go on and do it. To me, that, out every time I think about it and stuff, and me and my family has been talking about this, them and me and my cousin, and me and him has been discussing it. And, I, and me and him looked at each other just recently, and we all well, talked to each other recently, and he, I said, the blade scene where um, Karen tells him to drink a blade, and she said, just do it. And I said, what you think of that scene? And he said, that's sort of kind of like a scene, almost sort of like a makeout scene, but it's like he's drinking her blood and stuff. And if you see how he has his hand on her head and stuff like that it's like it's almost like a kissing scene slash make out scene if that's what it that that's what that scene gives so i want to just to get y'all point of view do y'all believe that that particular scene where karen gives um play some of her blood for he can get 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 his um um strip back up do you think that's sort of like a make out scene and stuff let me hear from you for that but now we're in this portion let me wait and now we're going to talk about another thing that we should have gotten doing this thing doing this um after this movie was made and stuff i love the other two sequels but i really believe we could have had a spin off movie from this especially a female version of it so i am going just to go down some what what we could have gotten from this if we had gotten a female spinoff version so if we have gotten a female spinoff version i think the one name is what her name would be and so me and my cousin we actually did me and him just like me i anytime i do something like this i talk to him about it and stuff so what i I still I said if it was a, a blade spin-off version, what would her name be? So he goes, Well and then when I say, Oh, I think this is what I think what she probably is and then I said, She's also a dumb here and she's a half human, half vampire, and but but we um we came up with this thing and stuff and so I think this is so pretty would have been pretty good at the time. So we go, okay. She's the equivalent of Blade. So I said, oh, she could be called Blasia. I said, she has a, a legal name, but they could call her Blasia. My cousin, he looked at me going, that's a good, I, that's a good, that's a good name. And then that's a good idea. So he was all for it. So yeah, I was thinking the name she could have called, probably could have been named Blasia. Um, the second thing is she could have been part of a black royal family from a, a black royal family of a monarch of a monarch and her mother was queen and her mother was attacked by a vicious vampire where the king's men actually did put this vampire down and think they didn't think nothing of what actually become of the child they would just think the child was just a regular child until she reached the age of of a certain age and she starts showing signs and stuff and one of the guards um said i know somebody in america that knows how to um knows knows a little bit more and he comes and visit and we that's where we are introduced to abraham whistler so what blade would about this time would have been with him would have been with him at this time that's what i'm thinking when i'm thinking about um if we had this um stuff and she leaves the monarch and she still have the royal title as princess and stuff and then i said what will be her royal title she'll be princess but what kind of royal she probably would probably would have been named after her mother in honor of her of her mother so i i would think that but yeah but when i think of a, a black royal this is what I'm, I'm i'm picturing and stuff and then by that i thinking oh somewhere where we wouldn't expect it somewhere where it might be cold and stuff that i i'm just gonna just drop a city where this place is at and i'm gonna say moscow that's all i'm gonna say and thinking like her, the grandfather who wants to keep the secret that she's still alive, but um, keep from the people, let the people think that she's dead. 
let the people of the city of 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 the nation that she's dead and they get into some trouble with some big vampire council and stuff and they call her back and they said she said the only way i'm coming i'm bringing blade with me grandfather has a problem with blade and stuff so i'm picturing that i need y'all to picture that grandfather has a problem with blade and blazer and i would always think blazer and blade probably had this um connection with each other ever since they was very young and as they got older and stuff and blazer probably could have been um blades one um ex-fiance she would probably she could if they had did a movie like this i really believe they could have did something like with the second with the second with the second um blade movie and the um second blade sequel in the third blade sequel and if they had that female um blade movie i really believe key moments she could have played parts in and i will come back at a later date and talk about that but um like yeah she would always have his back you know they all like i said her and blade had this like romantic um uh, a relationship type connection but we it's like everybody is not don't really know and stuff and then the one thing that um the royal family always try to hide is oh they brought this how this mansion in the u.s but they didn't say who they brought it for and stuff like that and stuff like that they said it's for a member of the family and stuff like that da, 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 and stuff like that they don't tell everybody that oh um this little baby that we told y'all that was dead this is her house like there and then we could have ended up from um her her movie we could have got between two to three or four sequels to it and stuff like that and think but yes i actually think um if we back in the day if we could have gotten a female version that's how i i would picture it now in this portion i want to hear what y'all think one what do y'all think about the original blade movie and what do y'all think about that the mcu now wants to actually remake the movie and are y'all afraid what the plot might be for the new movie and um if so do y'all think do y'all think wesley snipes should have a part of the new movie if they do the new movie if if it's true and it is a new movie and let me ask y'all this do y'all give wesley snipes credit for bringing the blade movie um producing the blade movie um producing the blade movie and starring as blade as a stepping stone into the MCU universe. So that's all I have time for. Until then, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.